This is an African vulture. They eat dead stuff, and that's actually pretty important, because if not, it would rot, you'd have diseases, that would spread. And I'm telling you this because the African vultures have a problem. They're dying by the thousands, and that's bad news. Sometimes technology is used to make our lives easier. And sometimes, like this little unit that they put on the back of vultures, is used to solve some very real wildlife issues. Let's talk about the vulture crisis. If you've heard of the vulture crisis, you may have actually heard of the Asian vulture crisis, where 99% of the vultures died because dead cows, which had been given the anti-inflammatory drug diclofenac, were then eaten by vultures, who died because of it, and then that caused a feral dog problem, diseases spread, and if only they knew the science behind what was happening earlier, the whole situation would have been better. I, however, am looking at a very different vulture crisis, the one in Africa, and it has slightly different issues, but that is why I'm here at the North Carolina Zoo, in particular at the lion exhibit. I wanna to talk to the expert. Lion and vulture conservation is linked, and it's linked in part through the threat. So a typical scenario is that someone loses their cow to a lion, and then they go out and might put pesticides down onto that cow carcass. The lion will come back, they might eat the cow, but often a lot of vultures and scavengers will also come and eat the cow, and the poisons that are being used are really toxic and they kill anything that comes and consumes that cow carcass. So most of the time, if somebody is poisoning a cow, they're actually trying to kill the lion, but there's a lot of incidental kills and a lot of vultures. And that's important because vultures play a key role in the ecosystem. They're scavengers, so they help this whole decomposition process. They play a really important role, both in terms of waste removal and disease control. The advantage of being a vulture is that they can eat diseases like rabies, tuberculosis, um, brucellosis, and they don't contract them. So the solution at first, it seems so simple. You just have to stop the poisoning. But the trickier part is that you have to address a lot of issues, like the lion conflict with cattle. To start, they're using this, a device they can put on the back of vultures. We use satellite telemetry to follow the vultures around. And one of the things we're trying to do with that is to find out where poisoning's happening. So when a bird dies that has a transmitter on it, we'll get a mortality signal and we can go out and, and see what happened. So it gives us information about what's killing the birds. And it was actually this kind of tracking that first helped to demonstrate that poisoning was such a big problem for vultures. Um, but in Tanzania, we're using it to actually find where is the poisoning happening so that we know which communities do we need to work with, maybe where do we need more rangers um, out and about to help address those kinds of problems. Tracking vultures is awesome because they fly all over the place. So this is about 1,200 miles from Tanzania down to sort of the lowest point, which is about the same distance as if you were to travel from Canada to Mexico. Looking at maps of flying vultures like this makes one thing very apparent. Conservation of vultures needs to happen between countries on large geographic scales. And that's where groups like the zoo come in. They can act as neutral parties who are on the ground just trying to help the wildlife. Now let me explain how they're trying to help. First, they're training rangers what to do if there's a poisoning. That means rapid response and an attempt to arrest the people doing the poisoning. Then they're finding ways to reduce this conflict between lions and people's cattle. That's really important. And finally, it's part of an effort called SAFE, which is saving animals from extinction. It allows zoos to unite together for a common cause. And in this case, helping the vultures. Now, the one thing I hope we can agree with is that vultures globally play a really important role. And if we learned anything from, say, what's happening in Africa or the Asian vulture crisis that we had, is that vultures are so important. They're decomposers, they're scavengers. You know, in fact, I'm here in North Carolina. I'm trying to film black vultures as they're helping me decompose this dead deer behind me. You can see that they quickly find it and they take a lot of meat. So you're probably wondering, how can I help? Well, partly some of the funds from people visiting the zoo here go to Corinne and the people out in Africa doing this on the ground research. But Corinne also said you can think bigger picture. People use rodenticides here and maybe don't recognize that, yeah, you might be getting rid of the, the rats and mice around your home, but those are often gonna run off into the woods and be eaten by hawks and eagles and other, other animals and there can be that kind of secondary poisoning. I just want to say Corinne and all the people who are doing this work in Africa, a 
big thumbs up from us. We are supporting you 100%. And if you want to see a black vulture close up, Ziggy is the local vulture here at the North Carolina Zoo. If you're not close to the zoo, keep your eyes to the skies because they are all around you. Thank you everyone, by the way, for the support in this channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Whoa, look at that. Fleming response. Cool.